Okay, I am now going to run this van on propane. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that right now. To do this, you will need the following items. A barbecue um, propane tank. You will need the um, hose adapter. One end screws into the barbecue tank. And while the other side will screw to your redneck carburetor, which is simply my modified torch, which I have ran my um, Toro Whirlwind lawnmower off of. It works great for the lawnmower. Um, so I'm going to try to use it on the van. Okay, next step after connecting all this stuff, I have taken this tube here, which has to go to the air intake. Now, you're not going to see it because I did it in a very clever manner, but somewhere here, and I can't remember where up there it is, I drilled a small hole because I've done this experiment before. And you have to run the hose through the doghouse container into the engine compartment. And then, reach in under the hood and grab the tube and pull as much as you need and run that tube into a hole in which I have already drilled into the air intake. This goes immediately before the uh, air filter. I'll normally bottom it out and pull it out halfway. And I'm just going to pull some of that excess into the vehicle. Done. So with this van still running off of gasoline here, I'm just going to take my keys and fire it just to show you how this thing starts. It'll start real good. Watch. Running. This next part is very important. That plug there goes to my fuel pump. I need to shut the gas off, and the easiest way is to just simply unplug it. So, just push down that tab and pull, and it should come out. Got it. It was pull the tab, not push. Now, now what we want to do before we do anything is just try to start it just to make sure that there's no gas left in the system. So yeah see there was a little gasoline left. They're just gonna floor it and let it up. Floor it. Let it up. And all the gasoline's gone. So I can close the hood. Fuel system has been successfully cut. And turn on the barbecue grill. When you start it, you floor it to start it. And as soon as it fires, let up because this because this is an unregulated setup, it's going to be flooded. Ready? I'm going to give it a try. I'm turning on the valve. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shit! Dang. There. I kind of know the proper mixture because I've done this. She's running too rich. It's not going to idle. You want to make sure it's not running too rich or too lean or it will not idle. And it was still too rich. Now if you have a loud muffler, tuning this will be a little easier once you get it running. Um, but I'm going to show you first a rich condition and then I'm going to show you a lean condition. We're going to go out back by the exhaust pipe and we're going to take a listen. Right there, that's running pretty good. I'm going to slowly pitch it 
I'm going to start the van again and kind of watch my hand. Right now the gas is off. Now there's probably some gas in there from when it stalled, so we're going to purge that first. Floor to pedal and crank it. Nothing. So I'm going to open the valve. Run it a little rich at first and rev it. If it's going to die, hit it to the floor and let it and just keep snapping it. Because what that means is it's running too rich, and that's why it's stalling. When you floor it and let it up quick, it causes more air to suck in the intake and lean out. Now this carburetor does not have enough power to um, and deliver enough fuel to run the motor. And I'm missing. Why am I missing? Too rich. If you're not sure why it's missing like that, you kind of can tell by the sound sometimes, but not. Turn it one way. If it gets worse, immediately turn it the other way a little bit too far and then back. Unless it's lean. If it's lean, just immediately rich in it. If it's rich, lean it. Now, I'm going to put a load on this. i got to figure out why it's missing. And I'm going to have to kind of do the two-footed thing when I go around the block. I'm going to rich in it up the full mixture. And I'm gonna hit the gas. Fuck. Whoa. Alright, here we go. Don't let off the gas completely when it's too rich. Because it'll stall, especially under a load. Lean it out. Keep your other foot on the pedal so it don't stall. And I'm stalling, no I'm not. I'm gonna rich it up all the way. We're gonna see how fast I can make this go, and I'm just gonna go around the block. Only give it a little bit of pedal, just a small amount when you're accelerating, because the system does not have enough pressure, or not pressure, does not have enough delivery. Okay, tank down a little bit. This tank isn't really full. Uh oh, my spraying liquid. No, it did help with the pressure though. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, neutral, neutral. All right. I'm feathering the gas just by hitting it about a little more than an eighth and back to stabilize the system. I lay that tank down. Oh shit, I'm spraying like you don't want to. Right, well, well, we're spraying like that's why I'm spraying like that. No wonder I had more power all of a sudden. The problem is with the liquid is it doesn't vaporize your waste a lot, and it doesn't work that good. Now I'm just going to turn around in this guy's driveway here, and I'm going to head back home. I'm just going to pump the pedal a little bit because it's easier to park with the car. Give it a nice rev before you shift it into gear, and I am going to stall. I won't. Try not to hit the RPM too high when you shift in the drive, which will screw your tranny up. If you give it too much gas and it starts to stall, let off the gas completely and then give it gas. That'll allow the mixture to reach them. 